But for now, it's back to football. And for now, we're going to concentrate, Danny, Simon, on Birmingham City. What we do know is the man who was once at Watford, the man who tried and didn't get uh, to take over Bolton Wanderers, is now trying to do his bit and take over Birmingham City. Lawrence Bassini, millionaire businessman, we're told. Now, Mr. Bassini got in touch with me this morning and said, I need to come on with you and Simon because I have massive news. So, Lawrence, good morning. What's your news? Good morning, Tim. How are you? You okay? I'm good, thank you. I'm Bless very good. You. Thanks very good. much indeed. So, good, here's, good. here's your opportunity. Tell us your news. Okay. I'm going through in a second. Simon? Can Simon hear me? I can hear you, Lawrence, yeah. Hello, Simon. Hi. So before I get into that, I'm about to, right? Where are you taking going, us, Lawrence? I'm about to take you to Birmingham City. Okay. All right? But I, I want to say a couple of things. Last time we spoke, right, and it's fine, and I want to be very clear on this. Simon and Jim, and hello, Danny. Hi. Danny Murphy. Yeah, yeah hi, hi Danny. Lawrence. Right? Hi there. People say a lot of things about me, and that's fine, right? And that's okay. But I want to say this, guys. I never mock you, and I don't make fun of you. Right, and there's been a lot of things that are said. And Simon, when you say that I'm the odd one, I've never said things or been disrespectful about. No, I want to let me finish because I'm going to say what I'm about to say because it's all going to come out now. Okay, right. And I've just been on the phone with David Sullivan. We've had a long conversation, and it's going to He's come an odd out one now. Too. Okay, I'm I'm now going to disclose some things. Oh, by the way, Tyson Fury, Simon said that if you I come out with less or you've got less information that when he goes into, when you're talking to him, he said he's happy to train me. And he said, we can, me and you can have a boxing match, right? And we can have a million It'd quid be a catch on it. One, and we'll yeah. go to charity. Now let's talk about Burnley. Right, City. Lawrence, you've got, you've got me scratching my head in wonderment and amazement at this stage. So are you okay. taking over Birmingham City? Right, I'm, I'm now about to tell you. Today, right, we're going to go to Keith Harris. The reason there was a delay, because Keith Harris had arranged that we were going to have 10 or 12 million against the stadium. Keith Harris failed to do what he said he was going to do. Hold right? On. Tell us where you're at. I'm about to tell you. I have today, which it will now be disclosed because it has to come out, okay? And, and it's been kept very quiet. After what happened to me and everything that had gone on, right, I got involved with David... I'm now going to tell you something. I don't need anybody's money. I'm meeting David Newton in the next week from the FA. Gentlemen, and you can check it out for yourselves because I'm so sick of people saying so much rubbish and I've kept my mouth shut and I've said nothing up until now. I'm now going to disclose to you and you can all check it out yourselves. I want you to. There's been plenty L Lawrence, to say you've about been on for about three minutes and so far you've told us nothing. You're about to know. Hang on a sec. Gentlemen, I'm about to tell you. Oh, okay. Come on, Lawrence, please. Simon, Simon, Simon. I'm now going to tell you. Dave Sullivan has been there to be in the background to protect me and keep things quiet, okay? I'm now going to disclose something to you, which I've been unwilling to do to the, to the world, okay? But I'm now going to do it, okay? It's now, which will be registered, an asset and liability, okay? And you can check it. Zero tax liability, zero credit cards, zero bank statements, okay? Now you can check it for yourselves. Investments quoted 235 million in the UK, okay? Okay, statement of assets, personal to Lawrence Bazzini. Property, 5 million. That doesn't include all the shops in Oxford Street that I own. I've kept my mouth shut, okay? Set alone. In the Fantastic, UK, Lawrence. Are you and bloody well buying no, Birmingham Simon, City? Simon, Simon, no. I won't let me finish because you all mock me make fun of me. Well, you do okay. it yourself, Lawrence. Come on, no, mate. No, Let's get to the money Simon, shot. Simon, it's not, this is not an audition for you to, no, to, Simon, to, to Simon, give yourself some Simon, benediction. Simon, Answer Simon. a question. Are you buying the bloody club or not? Simon, I am buying the club. Now, let me tell you something, yeah? Right? You guys make fun of me. I'm going to say something to because you. Because it's easy I to wanna... do. Simon. You deserve Simon, it, Lawrence. Simon, Simon. You slagged me off with Watford, yeah? You said things because about Because you're a me. buffoon at times, Lawrence. Uh, Simon, Simon, let me finish, right? Because I want you to have this on there. You're a failed owner of a Crystal Palace. You failed yeah, but it. But I'm not a buffoon. You know, hang on. 
Simon, you you did a film with Lawrence, Kevin Lawrence, Spacey. Lawrence, Dale. Lawrence, no, 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 Lawrence, I'm right, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna stay and mediate. Do we have to I'm do, do we have to do this? Stay, Lawrence, I'm gonna stay and mediate this. Simon, you can't no, bear it. Can listen, you? no, here's the thing, Lawrence. Hang on a second, Simon. Lawrence, hang on a second. Now, we're Birmingham's. The most important people listening to you at this stage. I would presume, and you'd agree, would be Birmingham City fans. And they must be very impressed. No, hang on, Simon. Oh, Lawrence, Simon, you're so Lawrence, so Lawrence, right. Simon, what Lawrence, you I'm going to, now, Lawrence, I'm going to get back to the original question. Now, you're going to join us at quarter to 11. You've now joined us at 11 o'clock. We're 11 minutes in and you still haven't answered it. Now, Birmingham City fans are asking me to ask you, when are you taking over the club? Right. Well, let me tell you now what's going to happen. Just okay? answer it. I'm going to answer it. Today, we, I've, I've sent £30 million to the lawyer who has spoken to the directors and the owners of Birmingham City, right? I'm also going to put in, right, whether there's bank bonds or assets, another 70 to 80 to 100 million. Do you know why I'm going to stay in football? Because I'm now going to show all of you lot and I'm going to win the league, no, all right? And you're going to win the league. No, let me finish. Right. I'm, I am going to win the league, okay? I've got but, John but Lawrence, the situation is you, well, don't have to, you don't have to prove anything to oh, us. Oh, I don't. Not, you don't have to it. prove anything to Simon, to me, to, to, to anyone. Birmingham City fans are saying to me, are you serious about taking over the football club? Now, you don't need to elaborate on anything. You've got shops in Oxford Street, how much money you've had, or, blah, blah, or even in, 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 involve Simon in the answer here. Your intention is honest, is it? And you will attempt to take the reins of the club, right? I'm going to do better than that. I want to meet there. You know where you have the fans forum and everything? I want them to come to the, the board meeting. When there's a meeting with the press, right, I want them to come there so they can see for themselves. Right, so long. let's get to it. How much have you bid then for the club? I'm going to pay 35 to 40 million and I'm going to clear the debts that are there. And we're going to straighten things up. Right. So and you bid thirty-five to forty, and you're going to clear the debt. All right. I'm going to clear. Well, some of it's being written off because obviously the Hong Kong, the Hong Kong stock market, and obviously whatever else is going. On. Obviously, Keith Harris can't be on the on the board there because he's a dishonest man. He can sue me if he likes. Do whatever he wants with Simon. Right. 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 Okay. Right, okay. Right. okay. So but is it, is it fair of me to ask you this question, Lawrence? Why did you miss the previous deadline? That you I yourself said. You I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you what happened. Keith Harris, right, was supposed to bring 10 or 12 million, right? And we, we, we lodged 25 million. And Keith Harris, at the time, I said to him, you're not going to do it, right? I said, you know, and Simon thinks the same. Simon, let me tell you something. I've always been respectful to you, right? And what you do, you use the microphone to say things about me. And I'm going to tell you oh, something happy now. Happy to your face, what? Lawrence. Well, when? You tell well, you're not on my list of social you, engagements. Where, where, I bumped into you. I'm saying to you. What I'm trying to do, Lawrence. What I'm trying to do is keep the. What I'm trying to do, Lawrence, is keep the train on the track. So you bid 35 to 40 million for the club. You can confirm that. You'll clear the debt. You can confirm that. So when do we expect you to be installed as a new owner of Birmingham City Football Club? I would. I would like to be there in probably the next week or two. Um, getting things sorted. Um, the reason there's a delay because obviously I've got to change chairman and I've now decided that I'm not going to stay in football for three years. I'm going to stay as long as it takes. Right. And I'm going to okay. stay there and I'm going to prove a point. And you're going to win the league, you, you were telling us. Well, Lawrence, I mean, we that, that presumably is a massive news you promised us and, and we'll watch for that next week. So Lawrence Bassini with us live there. I mean, Simon... It, Lawrence, as only he can do, takes a circuitous route to get to the end comment. Yeah. But do do you think we should take it as read that Lawrence has bid thirty five to forty million pounds? Will clear the debt and will become the next owner? Um, not particularly. If Lawrence is going to do it, he'll he'll do it, won't he? He came on last time, talked about Keith Harris. You know, I don't speak off the back Keith of my Harris, head. Keith Harris, who is a broker of takeovers, right? Keith Harris is a waste of time, and he's now subsequently found that out, right? And the bottom line is, is Lawrence will either do it or don't do it. For the love of God, man, just do it. Stop coming on here, telling people that they're crooks and they're corrupts and someone died. because I mean, it's absolute nonsense, right? And coming on and telling everybody about the scores that he's got settled. Lawrence, no one's waiting for you. No one's that interested. No one's that motivated. The only time I make an observation on Lawrence is when he comes on and talks absolute drivel and it's very difficult for me because i don't have a drivel filter i can't, I can't get that 50 minutes back can i 
No, sorry, Danny. I noticed you were. I mean, uh, Danny. I, I mean, I, what, what do you do with that sort of I stuff? Don't, okay. I don't mean to ridicule Lawrence because if he does buy Birmingham City, then Good chapeau luck to him. To him. Yeah. Away you go, son. Right. Do so, Lawrence. Obviously, the next time we'll talk is maybe when you yourself have got the reins of the club. Jim White and Simon Jordan, Monday to Thursday morning, ten till one, on AM, on DAB, via the Talksport app, and on your smart speaker. Talksport.